Okay. All right. Well, good evening, everyone. How are you tonight? This is Tammy Stoffel, Stampin' Tammy, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Washougal, Washington. And um, the other day I asked which stamp set, stamp and, and die set bundle should I um, use next. And I had three wonderful sets. That was the um, the cabin peaceful um, peaceful prints set with the cabin um, and the dies, and then there's the um, whimsical trees and Christmas tree dies, and also the um, evening ever evergreen oh evergreen elegance evening evergreen is a color of the cardstock anyway. So, um, it was really a close three-way, um, whimsical trees, one out by one vote. So that's what we're going to work with tonight. But for those of you who wanted the other ones, uh, those will be coming here in the future. So hang tight. We'll be watching those. Okay. So looks like... I'm streaming. I don't think I'm too crooked. I moved my camera stand, and now it's not quite where I wanted it to be. I think I've got a little too much of too much of this side of the desk, but that's okay. Whatever. It doesn't look terribly crooked, so it'll be cool. All right, so this Whimsical Trees is um, absolutely beautiful. And it is in the holiday catalog. Let me find it here real quick. Um, you know, you don't ever find it when you want it right away. That's just kind of the way that rolls. So it is the um, Whimsy and Wonder Suite. Beautiful, beautiful images. Um, not necessarily your traditional colors, but um, reminiscent of, um, for me anyway, the, remember in the 60s and 70s, the aluminum Christmas trees and then the color wheel? Well, my grandparents had one of those and oh my gosh, my cousin and I, we were all, and my brother, we were all so fascinated by that beautiful tree. Um, and this just kind of reminds me of those, um, those times. Um, just beautiful um, line art images in this um, stamp set. And um, gorgeous paper. It is a red rubber stamp set. And it's got um, coordinating dies. It has um, beautiful DSP, and we'll look at that here in just a minute. Um, and then these um, beautiful iridescent snowflakes, and they are um, solid white on the back side, so you can color them with your Stampin' Blends to create whatever color you want. So um, those are a lot of fun. And that is the snowflake that I put on the um, that gift card holder that I made a few weeks ago, and that is... Um, that video can be found over on my YouTube channel. A um, couple of things that you guys can do for me to help promote my business is um, commenting on my posts. Likes are wonderful. Comments help. Um, shares are fabulous. And also to um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And that helps to get those uh, videos out gives you a little notification when um, I upload a new video. So it's easy for you to find um, everything that I've um, done recently anyway. I've, I've had several videos that are not uploaded yet, um, but they are a little bit time consuming to upload. So at this point, I'm just gonna be putting forward um, the new videos that I create. So I will also be putting on YouTube some um, videos um, over there that are not Facebook lives. So watch for those to come here in the um, in the near future. Um, 
<clears throat> All right. So um, just a real quick reminder, I do live out in the boonies. So sometimes live streaming gets a little pixely. So I'm not running a second device to be able to watch comments as I'm stamping. I do, however, go back and look at all of the comments and uh, answer questions. So if you have questions, feel free to put them in the comments. I will get back to you. Or you can uh, send me a, a personal message through Facebook um, or an email. Okay, so with that, we're going to move right into this, um, this beautiful, beautiful stamp set, um, the suite. I think I have this, um, I think I got all of this. I believe I've got this um, ribbon, but I don't have it sitting out, so we're not going to work with that tonight. Um, I've got a fun little project for you. And um, we'll start by showing the designer series paper. So the designer series paper is called Whimsy and Wonder. It's a 12 by 12 specialty designer series paper, which means that one side has um, uh, beautiful um, iridescent and um, just some gorgeous... Um, gorgeous um, images. Uh, anyway, I can't spit out what I want to try to say here. Um, the coordinating colors with this designer series paper are Blushing Bride, Crumb Cake, Mint Macaron, Misty Moonlight, Mossy Meadow, and Polished Pink. But like most of our um, designer series paper and all of Stampin' Up! products, many of the other colors will coordinate nicely with this. Um, so you're only limited by your imagination. And I'm here to, as your creative coach to help kind of coach you along. So this paper is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the metallic um, pieces on here. You know, you've got um, silver, and it's um, kind of that iridescent mother pearl look. It's got gold. It's got a little bit of copper in there. Absolutely stunning. And this is the back side. So this is not just for necessarily for Christmas. This paper can be used for other things as well. But I just love this paper. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then we have this beautiful Blushing Bride with the iridescent um, silver um, accented snowflakes and um, the white as well. Simply beautiful. This is the back side. Again, um, beautiful. This reminds me of some curtains that my mom made for me when I was a girl. I had, um, my room was hot pink, and then, the, so I had pink and green, and it was not quite this color, not, I don't think it was quite that light, um, but it certainly wasn't uh, the darker, like, mossy meadow, but anyway, pink and green uh, panels, beautiful curtains. Did you know that I still remembered those curtains, Ma? Okay, and then this, I think, is one of my most favorite papers. I love trees. You know, I live out in the boonies of Washougal. We have um, uh, evergreens everywhere. My husband is a logger, so um, evergreen trees are really um, uh, near and dear to my heart. I just love these. These line art images here with all of the foil accents, absolutely beautiful. And then this is the back side. Okay. And this, my goodness, does this not just remind you of some of the, one of those uh, Victorian looking um, Christmas balls and um, decor? It's simply beautiful. Again, those metallic, um, silver metallic and um, iridescent um, coloring. Look at this. 
This is the Misty Moonlight. Look at all of those beautiful trees on there. Isn't that just stunning? Okay. Well, this one is the beautiful backside. And then you flip it over and look at all of this shine. I don't know if you can really see this, but this really has um, that iridescent coloring and you see all the different colors of the rainbow reflected in here. And then this one, a few weeks ago, I made a card using this particular designer series paper. All of these packages um, are easy to fussy cut. So cute, fun, and um, easy to coordinate. And then the back side here are these uh, holly leaves with the um, polished pink um, sprinkled in there. So pretty. Okay. Just make sure that we're still rolling along here. Looks like we are. Okay. So what we're gonna do tonight is, um, I'll show you this stamp set first. Um, it has um, beautiful, well, like I said, line art images. You can you can um, stamp your ornaments. Um, some great sentiments, different trees, um, joy, some holly leaves to color in, and these will coordinate. And this is like I said, red rubber. Ten stamps in here, and that will coordinate with the Christmas trees dies. These dies, oh, uh. so this is a um, Christmas ornament here. This will cut out um, some small uh, grouping of trees, a little small garland, a bigger um, piece of uh, reflective garland you can put here. This will cut out the um, holly, some stars, This is a um, larger piece of gar garland. This will punch out either of, the, or die cut out either one of these trees. Um, you can put this on um, some background, add some garland. This is a, um, just another um, tree that you can die cut. Um, doesn't really coordinate with any of these here. It's a standalone. And this one here will die cut this um, tree as well. So some beautiful um, options, lots to explore. We're only going to do a smidgen of it tonight. Okay, so in the annual catalog, Stampin' Up! has um, three by three envelopes and they're slightly larger than um, than three inch square and so you can make these really cute um, note cards or a gift tag so what I have done is I have taken the all of the coordinating colors and made a um, three inch by six inch card base, scored at three inches. And this is Blushing Bride. This is Crumb Cake. Again, that's three inches wide by six inches, scored at the three inch mark. This is Mossy Meadow. Misty Moonlight. Polished Pink. Let's see, that goes that way and mint macaron. All of those colors coordinate with these papers. Now I just, I cut um, two and three quarter inch square, um, squares of the desi designer series paper. And thought we would just layer them on these uh, card bases. I've got two and three quarter inch square um, basic white panels for the insides 
And then those will pair nicely with those uh, three inch um, envelopes that are in the annual catalog. And I'll have that information um, in the description and my blog post. Um, the video after uh, tonight will be uploaded to YouTube. And I just realized I didn't show you these cute little dies. I've got a bunch of die cuts. So these trees and then a smaller tree, standalone tree, are um, just so cute. And those are all um, die cuts that we're gonna use tonight. Let's see, I'm gonna get those back in here so I don't lose anything. Losing dies is not fun. I dropped one the other day. It landed inside a box. It was a little one, and I thought, oh no, it's gone, because I couldn't find it. Well, it landed just on the inside of a box. Not terribly close to where I was working, so they do tend to fly. I have this um, magnetic dish. It is, um, it's like what um, mechanics use and it will hold the dies as you're working. Um, sometimes even a, um, a little bigger one would be nice for the larger dies. And I also mount all of my, all of my dies on um, magnetic sheets so that it will, um, I can keep them all, all corralled. And then I try to keep them with my stamp set if it coordinates with the stamp set so then I know what I've got. Okay. So we have all kinds of options here. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to take this designer series paper and we're going to put that one on there just like so. We'll glue these on. My adhesive, um, my preference in adhesive is this um, multi-purpose glue. And the reason is, is it gives me a little bit of wiggle room. So when I first put something in place, it's usually askew. And I can just kind of move it around a little bit till I get it where I want it. Okay. I'll put a little panel inside. So there's a couple of great specials that are going on with Stampin' Up! right now. Um, if you have a um, big wish, wish list, my recommendation is to um, take advantage of the um, joining special. Um, the joining special is normally $125 worth of any product from the catalog. For ninety nine dollars um, plus tax, if you live in a a state that collects state taxes, um, and free shipping. It also includes a paper pumpkin, uh, one of the past ones. You don't know which one you're going to wind up with, but um, it includes that paper pumpkin, and then also some business builder um, supplies. Right now, Stampin' Up has dropped the price and it is for $75 you get $125 worth of product there is no sales requirement okay you do not have to make this a business builder if you just want to take advantage of the um, discount and the discount is uh, 20% and that's off of every um, everything including um, sale prices you get your sale price plus an additional 20% off. 
um, it is a great way to go. You do have um, $300 quarterly minimum to remain an active demonstrator. The first quarter is waived. Um, so if I did my math correctly, the end of March is when you would need to um, make your uh, quarterly minimum. And then you have a grace period month. So really it would be the end of April. Um, if you have, if you like products and, um, you would, yeah, you know, and it's a, it's the, um, retail price. So you get your discount on that. So $300 less your discount is about $260 every, um, three months. For some people, that's a lot. For other people, they're like, oh, I can do that. If you have a friend or two that likes to stamp as well, take advantage of that, um, Sign. You can uh, email me or message me, and I'll gladly um, get back to you. And um, help you with any um, any questions that you might have, or to get signed up. Um, next week, there's also a um, sale extravaganza, and it's for two three days middle of next week, I'll have to confirm the dates for you and I'll have all that posted on my um, on my business page. And it is a um, sale and it's for um, basic things like cardstock and the dies and um, ink pads. Those are all on sale for three days next week. You can take advantage of that sale on those items and do the um, the demonstrator joining um, savings. So there's some great opportunities here. Um, if you have a loved one who likes to... Um, likes paper crafting, I'm happy to help with Christmas ideas, um, paper pumpkin or the kits. Um, the kits are only found online and um, and they're continually updated. So you'd go to my, my um, online store and look for kits and it'll show you what's currently um, available. And they're, like I said, they're, they're updated um, frequently and they're only found online. So you'll never see one of, you'll never see what they really have in the catalog. Let's see here. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what I really want to do here for these. I can... Oh, that's pretty. Where do I want that? Where do I want that? Or... No. Let's see. Yep, let's do this one. Let's see, this one or this piece. I think I'm going to go with this one. Okay, you still hanging in there with me, everyone? Welcome to those who have joined. Thank you for watching. And if you're just tuning in, this is uh, Tammy Stoffel. I am Stampin' Tammy. I'm an independent um, Stampin' Up! demonstrator in um, Washougal, Washington. 
and I come live every Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. And I do that because my day job, I'm a nurse, and um, my days off fluctuate. So it's difficult for me to pin down a daytime and say, I'll be live every Wednesday um, at 11 a.m. or 2 p.m. Um, it just doesn't work for my work schedule. So this will um, be my usual time. I will be putting up um, exclusive videos to my YouTube channel. So um, check that out. Uh, on YouTube, I can be found under Tammy Stoffel, and it's T-A-M-M-Y-S-T-O-F-F-E-L, and then it's a uh, hyphen Stampin' Tammy. I've got mm, 11 or so videos up there now. Um, this one will go up later this evening. And then um, any of the videos that I put out on uh, Facebook will go to YouTube as well. Liking and subscribing to my channel um, helps me to uh, promote my business. And um, any assistance is, uh, as always, greatly appreciated. Don't worry, I still have pieces of this. Uh, I still have a square of the beautiful pink and uh, snowflakes. So we'll find a paper to put that on. So we're just mixing and matching here. I'm showing you how the, um, the paper coordinates nicely with the, um, the cardstock. Okay, this one is going to be a um, tone on tone with that blushing bride. This is a blushing bride um, piece of cardstock and blushing bride with the white and um, silver um, iridescent or metallic um, snowflakes. Isn't that pretty? I just love that. Okay, we've got one more piece, and this is the crumb cake, and we can do like so. Okay, which one? So I've got the crumb cake base, and I've got this, um, the holly berries. Or I have the crumb cake base and the evening or the uh, mossy meadow with the holly and the polished pink um, dots. Okay. Which one? Left hand or right hand? I'll give you guys a minute there. This one here, Kathy. Mm hmm Yeah, I think so, too. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Thank you. Probably a little lag from the time that I asked the question to uh, when you guys actually hear it. Okay. Again... That liquid adhesive just gives me the opportunity to do a little wiggle. Um, we have so many different um, types of adhesives for different applications, and that is a um, will be a Tuesday tip. Um, so next Tuesday, I will um, outline all of our adhesives and what they're be the best application for. Um, And we'll um, just kind of review those. All right, so I have some of the 
inserts here. And I hope that I'm not making a mistake by putting these in. Well, I don't think I'm going to put a sentiment on the inside, so it'll it'll be fine. Um, I do recommend that you stamp before you adhere, okay? So if you are um, going to be stamping a sentiment on a piece that goes on the inside, stamp before you adhere it. So that way, if there's a, a um, mistake, your stamping doesn't come out quite right, or you get a halo, too much ink, you, um, you can just flip that paper over. That's the beauty of the paper, is that it's uh, got two sides. Okay, here we go, and there's one more. Alrighty. There we go. How about that? And these are, this the, the designer series paper, you really don't have to do much to dress these up at all. I mean, this you can um, leave it just as is. You can put your little message on the inside. You can stamp a, um, a narrow or small font message across a piece of um, of a basic white and trim that and just lay it along here and you are done. You can add a little bit of bling, you can add a little bit of ribbon. Um, it really, the designer series paper does the, um, does take the show for you, okay? It really takes the lead and you can create some gorgeous projects. Um, these are would be really fun for um, your gift tags. You can punch a little um, hole punch in the corner and add a little ribbon to tie this to your um, to your Christmas gifts, or just put a little adhesive on the back and um, stick it to your um, uh, to your package. Those would be a lot of fun. Um, you can also just make these into a little gift pack for someone. This would make a, a really nice um, little gift where you would um, make up your cards, however many you wanted, and um, add the three by three um, envelopes. And this could be a nice little fun package for someone. Um, it, you could package it up by making a little um, a little box, and we can um, talk about boxes here in an, another upcoming episode, or that might be a YouTube special. Um, I'll let you know. Or you can just wrap it up with a little um, piece of ribbon and tie a bow, and it would be just a great little um, a, a little gift um, for someone. These are also fun to um, carry in your purse, and you can leave a little note of inspiration or thank you if you are, uh, like if you go out to dinner and you have a server that um, gives exceptional service. Um, if you have a coworker that's feeling down, you could um, write, write a little note of inspiration and leave it on their desk. Um, lots of different ideas that you can do with something like this. And this is really just taking scraps of the designer series paper and the um, cardstock. Okay, so let's see here. I did a bunch of different die cuts. Let's see what we've got. Mm 
and of course these are all different colors and beautiful ideas. This little tree is I just die cut from um, from this designer series paper. Um, this is one. Uh, this particular tree here doesn't have any sparkle on it, but there's another one um, uh, that lives right over here actually um, that has the Christmas balls that are all um, shiny and metallic, um, that beautiful silver. Isn't that gorgeous? Well, let's see here. And we'll take a little fun whimsical tree. And add another one here. Not sold on that one yet. We'll see. So I don't think we're not going to finish up all of those um, all of these cards tonight, but this just gives you an idea of some of the fun things that you can do with this um, with this particular set. Um, we'll add a little glue here. The adhesive sheets would be wonderful to use. Um, Put a little bit of the adhesive on the back of a um, of the designer series paper or cardstock while you are um, getting ready to do your die cuts, and it turns your die cut into a sticker, and that would be really um, a fun way to go about this um, because this is such a, a narrow tree trunk it's difficult to get that glue on there um, sometimes it can be a real problem for you um, thankfully that was not for me tonight but uh, that doesn't mean that it won't be tomorrow or on this next one now that I said something you all know how that goes okay All right, so this is, like I said, the beautiful Whimsy and Wonder designer series paper. The Christmas Trees Dies and the Whimsical Trees stamp set. Okay. So, let's put a little sentiment on here. This stamp set has um, this little narrow, um, long stamp set, uh, uh, sentiment. It says, let your heart be light. And I think that is just beautiful. Um, this tells me that I have a sentiment out and about somewhere. I'll have to make sure I look for it. I thought everything was in the in the package, but apparently not. Okay, so this, I think we're going to use Misty Moonlight for the ink. Hi, Jan. Thanks for watching. Happy to see you, my friend. I hope you're doing okay. A little piece of paper out here. Add a little bit of ink. Okay, so you um, 
the stamp set or the pad, stamp pads are a foam pad. It doesn't take a lot of pressure to ink them up. Okay, just a light tap, tap, tap. And then I'm going to stamp here close to the bottom. And there we go. That didn't turn out too bad. Yay for that. Okay, so I'm going to use this cute little trimmer that was a promotional item of Stampin' Ups. Um, you're not able to get it anymore, but it really works well for what I'm doing here. Um, and years and years ago, when my oldest son was a little kid, and he'll be... My oldest son is going to be 29 soon. That is just shocking to me. Um, but it... Uh, I used to be a Creative Memories consultant years ago. I love scrapbooking, and um, I love those little trimmers they had. Okay. So, excuse my arm there. Okay, all right. And I think we'll pop that up on some dimensionals. And we are just about done with this card. A couple of dimensionals there. Peel those backing off. My fingers are a little sticky. All right, isn't that a darling card? That is just, I think is just so cute. Okay, so if I were to do this over again, you can see where I've got just a little bit of that tree trunk showing here. I would have brought that sentiment down just a little bit more. Um, I was going to try to pull it back up again, but I see the tree trunk is trying to lift, so I don't want to rip it. So I'm going to just leave it as it is, but I think that's just darling. Okay, let's do one more. And I want one that looks like this, I think. Aren't those pretty? Add a couple of those on there. These would make great little, um, you could whip out a whole pile of these in a sh fairly short period of time using a um, kind of an assembly line process. And then you could have some great little cards to share with your neighbors or coworkers. without a lot of expense. Mm. Hmm. As much as I like that misty moonlight, I like it the other way with um, with that particular um, designer series paper. Okay. 
There we go. And one more sentiment. And this particular sentiment we're going to take from the Peaceful Deer stamp set. And we're just going to use this little Merry Christmas right here. So this stamp set is um, photopolymer. And what that means is that you really um, need to utilize a little cushion underneath your um, underneath your uh, stamping surface. Okay. about to have a catastrophe over there without with that uh, um, designer series paper I kind of just tuck it up tuck it off to the side and uh, it's wanting to slide but that's okay okay so I think we're gonna use the um, we want polished pink. I think we're going to use polished pink for that sentiment. So let's just take a look at what that looks like on this paper first. Okay. Photopolymer. Tap, tap, tap. Stamp. Oh, yeah. Okay, ink that up good. See, I've got a little in my corner here. I've got to be very careful with that. And I want to get it down here towards the bottom. With the photopolymer in particular, give it a minute or a few seconds really to make sure that the ink transfers. You can see that I got a little bit right here because I had it on the corner of my ink of my block. So just be careful. We're going to close up this ink pad before I get more polished pink around. And then we'll trim that up and put it on this card. Okay, and well, let's see if I can salvage this, you guys. It's a little more crooked than what I thought it was going to be. You know what? We're going to stamp it again. I'm going to clean that block off so I don't get more polished pink all over. And we're gonna try this one more time. Ink it up. And we'll stamp it and see what it comes like. Oh, much better. That's better. Close that stamp pad. Move it out of the way. And then we're going to trim this nicely. Set this off to the side. And then I think we're going to do a little angle cut. Just like so. And we'll pop that up on dimensionals. 
And then, as I know it's getting late, we're gonna wrap this video up for the night. I will post this video, like I said, to YouTube. I'll have the um, dimensions for the cuts in the um, description and in my blog post. There. How cute are those? Aren't they just adorable? I'll finish up these other ones. Um, maybe not tonight, but um, in the next uh, few days, and I'll post additional pictures of them. We'll do more of this um, particular stamp set um, in the coming weeks. And um, for those of you, again, that, that wanted to see the the peaceful cabin and or the um, e uh, evergreen elegance um, stamp set and dies and punch, I'll do that one, uh, those two as well. Again, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate every one of you. I hope that I didn't have them too far off a of camera. Is that better? Okay. All right. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night.